love that sound. I love that sound. Good morning, everybody. Game time, Brian, otherwise known as the mailman on his day off. Still dealing with the allergies, as you could hear. Sneezing, blowing my nose, taking medicine. It's as, it's as bad as I've seen it in a long time. No drive-in video today. I am off. Uh, I'm getting ready to hop in the shower, and then I'm going to run to the gym. I know people think that's weird, but I'm weird like that. I don't like going to the gym. I'll get another shower later. Um, and I got a 2 o'clock premiere. I'll be back in the man cave. Uh, we will be here premiering a video that me and Mark Holmes did at 2 o'clock. Um, I will be in the chat with you guys watching it along. Um, as we sit here today and I play the NFL draft dong, or whatever you want to call it, um, sound, uh, brings back memories from when I was a child, ever since the long as I can remember, I was enamored with the NFL draft. I remember talking to Brian Broadus once, telling him, you know, what he did, it was always my dream being around the draft, and um, just that was always what I wanted to do. Things happen, end up being a mailman. Hey, it's been my job for 20 nine years now so uh it's done well for me and my family and uh but i still and will always love the nfl draft the nfl draft as we sit here today is five weeks away from right now i'm filming this at 10 a.m so you figure 11 12 1 you figure 10 hours from right now when i'm filming this the Chicago Bears will be on the clock. And there's nothing better than hearing, you know, well, I'm not a big Roger Goodell fan, but you get the point. The, the draft will be started. I will be there as well as my partner, Primetime Phil, Mark Holmes, and the chef, David Wiley. We will all be in Detroit. I hope to break bread with as many of you as uh, can make it to Detroit. Um we're going to be inside the bubble, so uh, meaning we're right there. We paid premium for it, but we just hop on the people mover or call an Uber. We're literally right down the street from where the, where the draft is going to be, so it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. We went last year to Kansas City, and um, I believe they're talking about Pittsburgh next year. But, yeah, five weeks away. Five weeks, so I am getting excited. Um, I made a comment, and you'll see it later at 2 o'clock. I won't spoil too much of that video, but um, I just have a weird feeling that uh, we're going to do old-school Jimmy Johnson and trade down and possibly trade down again, um, depending on who's there. But I've done many a mock draft. I think... Dallas might be in a situation where they're looking at a right tackle. See, unfortunately, and I will defer to certain people like Broadus and the guys that are close. I have I have friends who aren't a big Broadus fans. I'm not saying everything he says is right, but it does seem like they're putting themselves in a corner here to draft a certain position. Like if a receiver drops to them, I don't know that they're going to take him. Where that was how we got C.D. Lamb, right? Everybody forgets that. C.D. Lamb wasn't necessarily somebody we were looking to draft. And we ended up with him. Why? Because we took the best player available. But why? Because in free agency, we were able to fill some of the holes. That way, when you get to the draft, you literally take the best player available. And listening to Broadus the other day, he was making a comment like, they're going to window dress their board basically well we need offensive linemen okay supposedly they're literally going to wait until the draft to see who falls to decide whether tyler's a guard or a left tackle the, pl the the plan all along was to have tyler smith slide out the left tackle once tyron smith was gone or retired or moved on but he was such a good left guard pro bowl uh 
he's that good. He's the Zach Martin of the left side that you kind of don't want to have to move him to left tackle. If Amarius Mims drops, I will be curious to see whether the Cowboys take a Mims because he's only has eight out of Georgia, the six foot seven, six foot eight beast. Or no, nah, maybe he's six six. I think a guy in six seven. But regardless, Mims is a beast of a man. But he's only played eight college football games at the University of Georgia. Now he played outstanding against high level talent, but his um, his tape is is minimal. So you're going to be doing a lot of projecting, but. Very rare does a guy that size uh, move like he does and play like he does. So it'll be interesting to see if they would pull the trigger. You know I like JPJ, Jackson Powers Johnson out of Oregon. Do I think they're going to take him? I don't. Uh, I hope he's gone, Phil. Um, and I'm talking to primetime Phil, my partner, because I don't think they're going to take him. I think they're going to roll with Brock Kaufman and draft one in the fourth or in the fourth round. I really do. Whoever's the best center left in the fourth round, and I'm not going to get into it today. We will do a quick mock draft. I'm not going to pick every team. I'll just do it. Maybe a scenario will come up where I can make a trade. I don't know if, if I have a where I could force a trade on this particular simulator, but um, just to kind of show what I think might happen. But um, as we sit here today, we got – we have, um, well, let me get back to the draft. There's another guy, my original mock draft, I had them taking Tyler Guyton. I think he'll probably be there, and I think he's the guy that's going to be blinking the most. He's six foot seven out of Oklahoma, has some holes in his game, but has a lot of room to grow, has the long arms that they like with the left tackle, uh, high upside. Um, he's a real, real good player, but he... There's not like there's not questions about him. You know, there's questions about a lot of these guys. So it'll be interesting to see. I think they would go with Mims over Guyton, but I don't know that. This is what's so in intriguing about the draft. I don't know who they have off of their board. Dallas will have guys off of their board. Dallas will drop guys into the second round based on they know. Now, what I want to do this year, if I was drafting, if Jackson Powers, John, see, I don't know. See, I really like Brock Hoffman, but if one, if Jackson Powers Johnson was there, or Mims, I would have to take one of those two. Outside of that, the only other position I ha I would take is if a Latu, Leatu Latu, or a, or a verse either of the defensive ends fall to us. Now, my last mock draft three point go check it out. I switched it up a little bit, and I had a Jared Burst drop to us, and we took him. Now, you would say, wow, defensive end, we really need offensive line help. But again, you have to, you can't go that far off your board. If he's there, he's there. You know, do I think they're going to take a wide receiver? I don't. I see Ultra Cowboy keeps saying if Brian Thomas is there, you have to take him. I don't think they're going to take him, Ultra. I'm not saying that you're right or wrong. I'm really not, but I don't think they're going to take him. I think they would use that spot to trade back, which is what we need. If we're not going to go out and get free agents, then we need to acquire more picks because we don't have a full a gamut of picks. And I'm not going to get too deep into last year's – well, you know what? I will because that's what we do. Me and Mark talked about a lot of things today. Um, first, I want to you know, get into our remaining free agents that were on our team last year that are not on our team or any team as of now. McKeon, Sean McKeon, tight end, not coming back. Uh, he is a free agent. Uh, if, you know, if we, God forbid, we suffered an injury, he's still available. I don't, I don't expect him back. We're going to go with John Stevens, who was lighting it up in free agency. He's on the team. I mean, uh, he was lighting it up in training camp last year. Uh, John Stevens tore the ACL, but he's, you know, he was killing it. J. Ron Curse hasn't signed anywhere. He's waiting it out. Um, I don't know what the future holds for J. Ron. Uh, wouldn't mind having him back, but I don't think we need him with the emergence of Wanye Thomas, Marquise Bell. I think there's an issue where we can move on from that player. 
Stephon Gilmore. That's the guy we have to have back. Have to? No. Want? Yes, because of the leadership in the room. I would like to have him back, especially with how I want to draft. We may only come out of here with one defensive back in, in the draft. You know what I'm saying? I need to get a swig of this coffee. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Good. Look. Yeah, there it is. Ah, yes. Um, so I would really love Gilmore back. He wants to be back. He's flirting with um, New England. There's no real rush for Gilmore. He's coming back from that labrum uh, surgery. I don't know the extent of it, but I heard it was pretty bad. Uh, that's not the easiest thing to come from. He should just chill out. Uh, if, if Stefan, just chill, my man. Just chill. Uh, and then Chuma Idoga, which um, I told primetime on our live stream last night, uh, the hump day primetime live, uh, Idoga was annoying last year because he basically was a progress stopper for Asim Richards. We drafted Asim Richards out of North Carolina, left tackle in the fifth round last year. And he had some run in um, in the preseason, but he got no run. They went with Chuma Idoga. He almost got that killed not once, but twice, but three times. You know, many times he just misses. He just missed assignments. Uh, he was a better guard than he was tackle, but they seemed to. And I blame McCarthy for this. They they were force feeding Chuma Idoga, who hasn't been able to stay on the roster since coming into the league. He goes from team to team to team for a reason. Now, we don't know. It's a st really big projection. Now, they see the player every day. So I just want people to um, understand what we had last year. Okay. Free last year's draft, we've talked about who we lost. We've talked about it. We've talked about who we've gotten. Okay, Eric Hendricks. Eric, I got it, people. Eric, not Michael. Last year's draft, Mozzie Smith, I expect to bounce back. Bigger year. Pro football focus, a shout-out to Ultra Cowboy. He brought it up. He was graded higher than a Hankins. Hankins did not have a great year last year. He wasn't horrible, but he wasn't like he was two years ago. So just keep that in mind. Mozzie's putting the weight back on. Mozzie is a s unbelievably strong athlete. I count on Mike Zimmer to use him properly. Dan Quinn like the taller, leaner, get up the field guys. Zimmer wants guys to clog up a hole and just stop the damn run. So let's hope that Zim can get more out of Mozzie. Luke Schoonmaker was coming on towards the end of the year. He did have the uh, plantar fascia uh, a tear early on and uh, in college. Uh, I think it was in the in one of the bowl games or towards the end of the year in college, and it carried all the way through. That thing's nasty. So I expect a lot better. DeMarvin Overshone. Let's not forget about Overshone. Overshone, um, sideline a sideline player. You're going to love him. He will be the agent zero next year. I love it. I love this player. He's a Texas boy. He's an absolute cowboy, a real cowboy. He, has, he lives on a farm, owns a farm, wears cowboy hat every day, wears cowboy boots, goes sideline to sideline. Everybody's going to love him. He tore his ACL. You got Willem Fajoko, Junior Fajoko. Um, I know Dan Quinn was flirting with him with linebacker. He's an edge rusher out of college. We drafted him in the fourth round last year. Fajoko is a tackling machine in college. Big Samoan. Um, I think I'm high on him. Um, Asim Richards we talked about. He was drafted as our left tackle uh, wannabe. Him and Matt Willetsko will continue to work. So, uh, Eric Scott Jr., we traded up. We gave up a fifth in this year's draft to move up last year from six to five to draft Eric Scott. He's a corner. Let's not forget him. Deuce Vaughn. The Deuce is loose. And Jalen Brooks. You know I'm huge on Jalen Brooks. Free agents, you know, I'm not going to well, name them all. But the one still on our team, Hunter Lepke. Hunter Lepke is a very good football player. Very good. Uh, everybody remembers the one fumble at the goal line. He's not a he's not a fullback though. Everybody keeps saying fullback. Now he's a running back. He's a single back type of guy, but he's not the best blocker. 
Um, David Durden was a wide receiver, a speedy wide receiver who tore his ACL. ACL seemed like it was the injury of choice last year. Um, TJ Bass st- played a, a few games. His future is going to be as a starter, as the left guard. Uh, I love him. Uh, or if not at left guard, I mean, this is why I think they're going to move Tyler out the left tackle. I think the TJ did so well that I think they're going to really move TJ Bass to left guard and move Tyler out the left tackle. Tyler wants to be a tackle. He played tackle in college. Yeah, he did have, he was a little grabby, a Tyler Smith, but he's going to want the left tackle money when it comes to his contract too. Princeton fan and Jalen Moreno Cropper. So let's not act like we didn't get a lot of minutes played last year, but, um, there's a there's a lot of talent there. We just have to hopefully that it come together more in year two. Just a quick little note. Michael Gallup, who's a post June one a cut, we all know that. He is in Baltimore. He I believe he was with the Giants already. Uh he's in Baltimore interviewing with the Ravens. He might sign a deal. Uh, they're moving on from one Odell Beckham Jr., who's in Miami. Odell Beckham Jr. just keeps going from team to team, shitting on every team in his path, uh, not really playing great. Uh, got way too much money. We said that last year when he got what he got from the Ravens last year. I think he got like $16 million last year, and his production was next to nothing. So, But that being said, we're going to do a couple mocks. Um, we'll just... Let them fly. I'll try this mock simulator. Let's open her up. And let's see. Let's enter the draft. I'll pick the Cowboys. So let's see what we got here. I'm just going to let them go. Um, whether we agree with, I will point out any real, see, everything I see is pretty good here. I'm going to go over the picks real quick, whatever the computer picks. And then we will, uh, all right, I'm going to hide these for now. Okay. Let's go back and look and see what happened. Okay. Caleb Williams don't have a problem with it. Um, Drake may, I think they're going with, uh, Jalen, um, uh, what's, uh, Jaden Daniels. I would think they're going Jaden Daniels. And then I think Drake May goes to uh, New England. But regardless, all these players will be off the board by the time that we pick anyway. So it's fine. Marvin Harrison, I have him going there. You know the Chargers need a wide receiver because they lost both of them. They let them go for salary cap purposes. Roma Dunze, that's a great pick there. Terry and Arnold. I'm not going to get too deep into this. Now, this might be the case, Jared Verse, because they did go out and get receiver via trade and free agency. So, once was a receiver, that's a great player. Joe Alt, okay, Jaden Daniels. It's all kind of working. There's my guy, Amarius Mims. Uh, I would think Fuaga would go over Mims, but... They'll both, they both should be gone. Uh, Fashionu out of Penn State. Yes, Brock Bowers. I would, might think a corner, a Troy Fontenot. That's, the, that's who I had Seattle taken um, when I did it. My last mock, I originally had them going with JPJ. Uh, Kenyon Mitchell, love the player. There's Ultra Cowboys, Brian Thomas Jr., um, maybe this is where, if this happens like this, maybe this is where we see, um, maybe this is where we see a T Higgins get traded to a team, Tyler Guyton off the board. And this is what I was saying here. This could you know, potentially happen here. Tyler Guyton's gone. That's one of the guys that's, that was my original mock to the Cowboys just based on his comp to Tyron Smith and length and arms and strength and, J.C. Latham, I think he's going to play guard in the NFL. He played tackle at Alabama. I don't believe he's a tackle. 
Johnny Newton, Chop Robinson, Graham Barton. See, now, here's the deal, people. Here's the deal. This is crazy here. Graham Barton is not going to go over Jackson Powers Johnson. But this is why these mocks are uh, you know, the way they are. You got 24. 20. So if we're looking at it and we want to trade down, now I would take a Jackson Powers Johnson and run it in or Latu. I think Latu is rated higher than Jackson Powers Johnson. You have to take Latu here or you're not doing your due diligence you have your you had your replacement. 6'4, 259, explosive energized pass rusher with control to offset the exploit blockers. Um, he's a beast. Uh, again, that's who probably should come off the board between him and Jackson Powers Johnson. Now, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna look at the trades. All right, you got we drop to 31, and we go to, um, let's see, we got one trade. See, I'm not dropping out of here, the Rams now. We need to, like, like we need to captain trade down this bitch. Again, people, I just want to show what we could get, okay? I just want to show what we could get. So I'm going to accept, um, let's see here. Let me counter. They want 31. We're going to do this. 20, 25th, second rounder. You know what? I'm just going to take that because the video is getting a little on the longer side. I would take JPJ or Latu, but let's just see what happens here. Boom. Well, listen, this is crazy. This is absolutely not so. I'm going to counter. Now, we got a second round pick next year. I'm going to counter with this just because, just because if we're going with the thought that we need to recoup some picks, um, I'm going to counter. And I am going to go with this here. Let's see if they'll give me a third here. We would give up 31 for 35 and get 71. Confirm. Okay. So let's try it again here. Trade offer. Let's counter. Go boom, boom. Propose, confirm. Okay. So now we're going to lose Jackson Powers Johnson. That's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's still on the board. We're rejecting this. Look at this. Come on now. Game time, Brian. Let's ride. Now, this is not going to happen here. But under this scenario, bang. I didn't plan this, people. I was... I was going away from Jackson Powers Johnson, okay? But what we did here, we just recouped another pick, okay? So, let's see what we got. No, we're rejecting that. We're rejecting. All right, let's pick here. My pick so far, we got JPJ, okay? What we're looking for here... Um, we're sliding Tyler Smith out to left tackle right now. TJ Bass is playing left guard. JPJ is playing center. Now, with all due respect, I expected JPJ to be gone, and I would have went with uh, down the line of Von Prahn, um, maybe a uh, – there's a lot of guys. But you got Von Prahn. Um, let me see what the guards are. Hmm. Where is my guy? Von Prahn, Bordellini. Bordellini is shooting up the board. But my goal was to get Zach Frazier 
Let's see where Zach Frazier went. Um, Ultra, there's your guy, Chris Braswell. Um, let's see, Zach Frazier. Uh, I don't know that the Eagles will take him to 50. He almost made it to us. It doesn't matter because we got our center, right? So now we got to look at defense. Let's look at defensive interior. Okay, defense, defense, defensive tackle. Who do we have sitting here? Well, we got Chris Jenkins. No. Michael Hall Jr. No. Braden Fisk, McKinley Jackson. Um, I like me some, uh, I don't know who they like. I would go with Fisk because he offers more, but I'm going to, okay, Sweat went to 47. This is what I was telling everybody. He's probably not going to make it to us. Uh, but if we truly, we truly want to sit here and take the, and fix the interiors, okay, let's just look real quick. Peyton Wilson, mm, mm, mm. Jonathan Brooks, we're waiting on running back. I'm going to go with the Florida State defensive tackle. I love me some Braden Fisk. Let's ride, people. We got a pick coming up at 87. Now we're doing what the ownership and everybody really thought that we needed to do. We're addressing our interior. Most likely it'll be with a Zach Frazier rather than a JPJ, but we got lucky and we got our guy. Maybe, you know, shit happens. Sometimes people drop, but that's why you need those early second round picks. You know, somebody's going to, more than one player is going to drop out of that first round and you got to be ready to have a couple of picks in that second round. All right. So we addressed both interiors. All right. So look, they want to give us a fourth. We're only dropping back one spot. Is there anybody that we have to have? We're getting a 2025 fourth and we're giving up a fifth. Okay, I'm going to take that all day. I'm not even going to 120 and a third. Nah, we'll, we'll drop down one pick. They took Trayvon Wallace, linebacker out of Kentucky. Maybe we should have taken him because we do need a linebacker. I, maybe I should have looked at the board. But let's look and see who we got here. Tyron Hopper, I know they had him in here. Um, 6'1", 231. He's kind of, he kind of reminds me of an like an overshone type of guy. Tommy Eichenberg um, said maybe we should have stuck and took Trayvon Wallace. Um, I don't know that they like Eichenberg at all, to be honest with you. Um, James Williams out of Miami. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Edge rusher, let's see what we got. Ooh, they got Dorless, Dorless, Dorless. Let's see where my guy, Jeremiah Trotter, went 85. Braylon Allen, running back. Let's look at running back, okay? Let's look at running back. Let's look at running back. We need a running back. Will Shipley, Blake Corum, Estime, Jalen Wright. Ooh. See, we got plucked. We got plucked. I got so excited to go with the interior. We got plucked. So, um, mm, mm, mm. I'm not taking Corum. Sorry, sorry. Um, Jalen Wright, Ray Davis. I like me some Ray Davis. I ain't going to lie to you. So I kind of screwed up there. But we wanted to address, like, what did we take so far? We took my picks. We took Jackson Powers Johnson and Braden Fisk. Maybe we take a running back next time with that second. Okay. But we're still looking good. Brandon Dorless, edge out of Oregon. I don't know how you could pass him up. Um, strength and point of attack is excellent, already capable. I know they really like Dorless. Um, and we need to really look. Now, do, McKinley Jackson is still on the board, right? He's still on the board. Or do we go with a receiver here? I mean, wide receiver. Let's look. You got Johnny Wilson. Really love Johnny Wilson. Malik Washington. Love Malik Washington. Uh, offensive tackle, now guard. Let's go defense. If you're looking at defense, it's either Dorless, McKinley, Jackson. We just took our big boy in the middle. Um, Tyron Hopper. We need a linebacker. We definitely need a linebacker. Yeah, he's he reminds me a lot of. Uh, 
He reminds me. Jalen Ford. Remember that name, Jalen Ford. Um, we're just going to stick and pick. We're going to go with Brandon Dorless, edge rusher out of Oregon. We need to replenish that edge rusher position. We got one pick left, and then we're going to wrap up this video. I am at a half hour, um, and I got to hop in the shower. So let's see what falls to us here. I'm just going to tell you now, we're probably going to take uh, either a linebacker or a running back. This is why I say we need more picks. Now, we have plenty of picks after here. I only did four rounds. So we're rejecting this. Let's see who we have all. Oh, let's see who's there. Being, okay, I don't like Estime as a... Uh, no, Lob. Ray Davis. Do we like Ray Davis? Do we like Ray Davis? Let's look at linebacker. Tommy Eichenberg. There's our guy. I like Maris Liafu, but I don't know. I don't know where they sit with that. Um, but Jackson Mitchell out of UConn. Um, Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Let's just look at running back. Take the best running back and let's roll. Okay. Ray Davis, Marshawn Lloyd, 5A220. So, yeah, Marshawn Lloyd. We're going to go with Marshawn Lloyd here. I really like the USC running back. Um, he's explosive. We're just, we need a running back. We're going to take a running back. Jalen Wright went right before us. Let's see where he falls. Estime, I'm not as big a fan of Estime. I don't know what they think of him. We're going Marshawn Lloyd. We need a running back. Let's ride. So we're going to see how this worked out. But, um, you know, maybe like in the second round, if you thought that I shouldn't have taken the defensive tackle, because if you notice... Uh, McKinley Jackson was there with our next pick. So I'd have to go back and see if Trey Benson was on the board, but you know you would have gotten a Jonathan Brooks. So, again, these are just some options of what you could do when you're on the clock. Um, let's just see how this ended up. Let's go. Let's go. my picks so we got jackson powers brandon fisk doorless and marshawn okay so we have another pick yeah see i'm just gonna stop it here because i gotta roll i must not have uh let's just see here okay let's see all here do let's just look at the best available linebacker on the board boom 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 I know they like Jordan McGee. I know they worked him out. So, um, Tyler Davis. Ooh, Jarvis Brownlee, a corner. There it is. Let's go Brownlee. We're going to need a corner. Very good cornerback. Um, but, yes, basically, that's who we got. We got ourselves a 2025 20, second-round pick and a 20. A 25 fourth round pick and we still got Jackson Powers Johnson what I should have done was probably taken um, if we see full results just real quick let's see uh, round two let's see real quick where Jackson Powers okay let's see where um, we took Braden Fisk right was the running back on the board. So you're telling me he didn't go till the third round. The third round, Jonathan Brooks went. So that's what we should have done, people. We should we should have waited. Where did Trey Benson go? Trey Benson. This is ridiculous. Did I miss Trey Benson? I don't know. Trey Benson went 37. So we would have had to have taken 
at 35. So I like what I did there. I like what I did. I got the USC running back who I really like anyway. Um, but you get the point. We will do these more and more people. Um, listen, we're going to have to be creative here. Don't expect JPJ to be available if we trade down twice. But we got a second round next year and a fourth round next year. And we still got our center and our big boy in the middle on defense. So I like it. Let me know what you think in the in the comments. I will see everybody at 2 o'clock, people. Later. Peace.